And in general, the closing went something like this. You know, this case is not just about my client, Mr. Edmondson, or about Leesville Concrete Company. This appeal also concerns two men who are not represented by counsel and are not here today, Willie Combs and Wilton Simmons. They are the two black jurors who were excused from jury service. We don't know much about Mr. Combs and Mr. Simmons. We don't know much about them because trial counsel saw no need to ask any questions before he challenged them as jurors. Mr. Combs' parents and his grandparents could not have served on a jury in Louisiana, not because they weren't fit or qualified or competent to do it, but because they would not be allowed to do so because of the color of their skin. On that July day in 1987, Willie Combs and Wilton Simmons entered the federal courthouse in Lake Charles, Louisiana, believing that times had changed. They were confident that justice in a federal courtroom would be guided by the promise that they would be judged not by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. And when I said that, you could have heard a pin drop. The things I remember the most about it were Justice Kennedy, who was up on his elbow, just boring into me when I was making this statement. And I remember when I sat down, Justice Thurgood Marshall looked at me and winked. 